Hello everyone. I uh, missed a few days of posting a video and uh, look forward to today's video. I, I've been attending a virtual summit pr uh, put on by V1 Software. Uh, they have a first rate app in uh, golf teaching and self golf teaching. So you can use this app as a, as a golfer or a golf pro. It's uh, very well done. It's been around for 25 years. Um, I bought it first in 2001, 20 years ago when I started teaching. Uh, you can basically use it to uh, film yourself and slow your swing down, look at things, or uh, film yourself, send it to a golf pro like me, and I can edit it and give you a little lesson and send it back. So it's a, it's a really exciting tool um, and uh, basically got a full training on that along with a lot of new information on current golf uh, uh, instruction, which is always... a, a appreciated so i've been teaching a long time and uh one of the things i've learned is the the more i uh the more i teach the more i learn and and you know it's uh the greatest thing about golf is you don't just do the same thing year after year after year every every spring it it gets really exciting what you're going to work on when i purchased my sky track and started working on it i realized right away my one of my biggest things that I want to achieve this winter, being in Ontario and long winters, uh, w was to hit better wedges. Uh, I play a short golf course with a bunch of buddies and uh, I want to have more consistent wedges. I don't want to hit the green and one, one spins and the next one releases. Um, so I, I, I was really focused on how to get that uh, uh, under control. And so, that was one of the things that got me so excited about the summit I went to. Um, Mike Bender was uh, doing a presentation and he's uh, Zach Johnson's uh, golf coach. And he talked in depth about uh, Zach Johnson's wedge play. He, he won the Masters uh, making 11 birdies off of layup shots on par fives at Augusta, which is uh, Pretty unheard of. Usually, it's the long hitters that um, that have the uh, the advantage. So him him actually pulling that feed off um, is is pretty phenomenal. So, anyways, what 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 he was saying, he had exact stats, which um, is is perfect for a person with a sky track. He says that uh, eighty yards, uh, you're looking at a launch angle of twenty five or twenty six degrees. To create maximum spin, uh, maximum spin results in in total control. So that's really interesting because uh, most people are hitting a lob wedge, um, and if they're trying to hit it 80 yards, the first thing is they're swinging really hard and hitting it really high. Um, where the data shows you can maximize your spin by hitting it uh, lower. So. Uh, I've been working at that the last couple mornings, waiting for the seminars to come on, just threw the sky track on, grabbed my lob wedge, hit, hit a few shots. And sure enough, the, the data doesn't lie. Uh, when I hit it 25, 26, 27, 28, I get in the 10,000 RPMs of backspin. Um, when my launch angle is 30 or higher, it drops way down to six or 7,000. So I'm going to show you real quick with uh, two or three swings um, how uh, to to achieve this and uh, a few setup things that that will make it easy. All right, so now I'm uh, ready to hit a few shots and try and get my 80 yards with uh, 25, 26 degrees of launch. Uh, very first thing, uh, Mike's uh, assistant actually, the the word our associate professional. Um, she basically said that the ball position had to be off the ear to, to get that low trajectory. So I've taught most of my students, uh, especially the beginners, that you're always going to play the ball in the, uh, the middle of your stance. Well, you'll never get the, the low, low trajectory or the, the optimum trajectory in this case uh, by having it in the middle of the stance. So I've experimented a few things. For me, I have to make sure I'm still away from the golf ball. If I get too steep, everything goes really left. My natural pattern is from inside out uh, to maintain that. I need a little bit of space here. I don't want to be on top of the golf ball. 
Um, so then the second thing is at, at impact, I want the hands to be ahead of the golf ball. And that's pretty much true for all your golf clubs. Uh, but this becomes really important that we get the hands ahead and that we have the ball position off the, uh, off the ear. And basically I'm gonna try and trap the golf ball now. And, and like my last video, hitting the ball low, I'm not gonna have a real big follow through. I'm gonna hit it hard and hopefully get my 80 yards. First one I might have hit too hard. No, 82. And see my spin. Ah, that's perfect. Right off the bat, I hit 25 degrees and I got 10,190 in backspin. So all, all from practicing this uh, the last couple of mornings, that's the first shot I've hit in an hour uh, or more. And anyways, it, it got the 82 yards carry. Uh, again, I'm gonna put it off the gear, gonna have a descending blow. I'm going to keep my hands ahead of the golf ball and I'm going to just swing nice and easy. Keep that follow through low. Oh, that one's a little left. Got 81 yards, got 10,571 uh, in, in RPMs and backspin. And I can guarantee you that last week, if I was hitting the same wedge, no chance of that high a number. So I made a real, real change in a real quick uh, time period, and I'm very happy with those, those numbers. You can be too. On your SkyTrack, focus on your launch angle, hitting wedges, and your numbers will get better.